ECV tutorial. Today we will discuss about what is Kate and how to use Kate. So Kate in Pentaho is a web service which is used to run transformation and jobs remotely. Like if you have two servers and there is a requirement to run a transformation from server B but your Pentaho is installed on server A. So request should come from B and it should hit server A and it should run the transformation and it should execute whatever steps which is there in that transformation or job. So here I have created a very simple KTR where I am taking file 1 as input and generating the data from the input file into output file which is file output. Right, it's just directly copy pasting from one location to another location. Right, so I'll save this KTR. Now, first we'll run Kate. So, what I'll do, I'll terminate this old, I'll clear the screen. Right, before running Kate, you need to understand one file which is configuration.xml. You can copy this content from here itself. It has slave config, slave server, name I have given Kate, host name is localhost, port is 8080, and slave server ends here. Then there are few parameters which I have set maximum log lines, maximum log timeout minutes, and object timeout minutes. Right? So now how to start Kate? Give Kate dot bat space configuration file dot XML. So in configuration dot XML file we know I have given hostname as localhost and port as 8080. Now we'll click enter. So in a few minutes, Carte service will get enabled in your local machine. So Carte services has started. You can see Carte created listener for web server at the rate address localhost. 8080 you copy this then we'll go to browser we'll paste this directly right and run it see it will come as slave server menu show status click on this so this is the page of Kate whatever transformation or job you will run through Kate all the details whether it is failed waiting finished all the details will come here so as you can see these values i have set in that config file so it is getting displayed here so it this also says this parameter can be set in the slave server configuration xml file which is configuration.xml right now next step so this is a transformation which i have created it is in c data integration carte testing dot ktr so this is the url which you need to use you need to give localhost colon 8080 kettle slash execute trans slash question mark trans equal to the path of that ktr execute this it's done where the output file should get generated in the data integration folder i'll go to data integration folder now as you can see file gets generated if you open data is available right now click here again refresh it see carte testing finished you can remove this entry click on this it will give the logs of that 
execution and what is the code in that transformation status finish so this is how Carte works in the Pentaho. Thank you for watching. If you like it, please share it and subscribe it. Thank you very much.